So we continue with turn 3 and uh, the unit 4 of Space Marines is the first to activate which are the uh, Vanguard Veteran Squad. So uh, the first squad has wounded because uh, he, did, he got shot by the killer cam and now he's going to advance and close combat the orcs so they are less effective. So I'll have the squad with the wounded stay because they are going to wait for the medic. Uh, the other squad, is, uh, the one is assaulting the big shooter. Um, this squad is moving uh, three, so they can't do anything else this turn. And the uh, sergeant uh, uh, Dialis uh, is going to move and uh, assault the, um, the boss mob. The veteran squad that attacks the big shooter wins the combat. They wound and push back the big shooter unit. Next one is the um, sergeant against the boss mob. Sergeant Adelis wins the combat, so uh, the boss mob has to make an armor save now. He makes his armor save, but since he cannot retreat, uh, backwards is um, all is destroyed. So uh, there is again a boss mob <laughs> dead, <laughs> which is absolutely not good for the orcs. Uh, next scenario, I'll be really careful with these boss mobs because <coughs> they tend to uh, die easily, uh, more easily than I thought they would. So Sergeant Dallas takes in the square. And now is surrounded by orcs. Next up are the orc reinforcements, and this time they are uh, roll is high enough, so the Gretchen mob in battle wagon is arriving on the battlefield. The battle wagon advances six squares and disembarks the Runtered and uh, Gretchen mobs. Uh, now uh, he will still be able to shoot, I think, because he's got an indirect fire weapon. But he cannot shoot because he moved too fast. If he st stood still, he could uh, target the Space Marines, a roll to die for deviation, and uh, take the best roll. Um, or he could move two, roll one die for deviation, a roll and uh, move more than two and then he can't shoot his uh, indirect fire weapon anymore. Next up is Brother Malcian, unit number two of the Space Marines. They are here, which is convenient because uh, they are about to get assault, uh, assaulted by the um, Sluggers. So I'm gonna have the last cannon try to finish the job with the Death Dread and uh, the other units meanwhile are shooting and assaulting the uh, orcs. Both the tactical squad and uh, Brother Marcion advanced one square and now they get uh, both one die roll without modifier against the Slugger units right in front of them. The tactical squad rolls only one, but with the plus three modifier, it's still enough to wound the sluggers. And Brother Marcian fin finishes the job. The last cannon shoots at the death thread, but rolls low. So uh, two plus four is only six, it's uh, not enough to, uh, to hit the death thread. Next up are the sluggers with a rocket launcher and uh, they are here. They are assaulting the last cannon squad. The last cannon squad does not have a uh, assault um, symbol so they only get to roll one die but luckily they roll high so they win the combat. The orcs in front of them are uh, wounded. Now it's the second uh, orc unit that's gonna assault them. 
with a plus one modifier. Once again, the last cannon uh, unit is uh, rolling very high, so the orcs didn't manage to to kill them. So this unit, orc unit, also takes a wound. Next up is squad Vorlans, which are here. The heavy bolter is going to get su uh, his suppressed marker removed, that's all he can do. The plasma gun squad advanced one square and shot. So he rolls a 2 plus 3 uh, is enough to wound the uh, orcs. Since they are in the cover, in the house, in the ruin, um, the orcs do not have a cover safe. Vorolanis shoots his uh, flamer pistol at the squad in front of him, and uh, this uh, denies uh, the squad um, the cover save. Flamer does that. Total overkill again. He's, the unit is uh, completely destroyed. Next up is the boss mob, um, but he's been killed, so the only thing that's going to be activated is the big shooter. Since they're not as good in close combat, they're just going to shoot and manage to hit the uh, vanguard squad in front of him, but the vanguard squad uh, makes his arm safe. Next up is brother Venasio. He's gonna shoot standing still uh, to the slugger boys and hopefully eliminate them. So the attack bike has a direct line of sight to the dev dread and can shoot without moving. He wounds them since they're already depleted, the orc uh, unit is uh, removed. The attack bike uh, rolls high. And uh, again, it's a 10, so the Death Dread can't use his extra armor against it. And we have a hit. Roll 1 again. Uh, as you do the same result to the second time, it, this means um, the unit is destroyed. Death Dread is completely destroyed and is now just blocking uh, line of sight and stuff like that. Rhino is advancing two uh, cases and shooting at a big shooter. He rolls a five, so that's enough, and he eliminates the big shooter unit. Next up are the T's breakers, which are here, plus the uh, killer can. So they're going to try to do something uh, before getting wiped out. They're gonna stand still and shoot and uh, use their extra ammo if possible because they're not as effective in close combat as the Space Marines. And the Killer Can is gonna stand and shoot at the Vanguard Squad. The Killer Can rolls a 6, plus 4 is 10. That's double the uh, defense value of the Vanguard Squad. And since it's piercing, the Vanguard Squad has no chance to use its armor. So this unit is completely annihilated. This unit shoots at uh, Sergeant Adelis but completely misses. This unit shoots at the Plasma Gun uh, unit. Managed this to hit but they uh, get their armor safe. Same here, they managed to hit, but the armor is again saving the day for the Space Marines. The last ones to get activated before end of turn 3 uh, is the Gretchen Mob and Battle Wagon. Rundert and Gretchen Mob do their maximum move and uh, take uh, cover in the building. Next turn they might be able to assault the these uh, space marines in front of them. The battle wagon stands still so he can shoot his uh, indirect fire weapon to the um, space marines in the back and gets to roll two dice for deviation. Uh, now it's 
spot on. So now I'm going to roll damage for these uh, units. The last, the last cannon unit uh, is hit, uh, but they manage to uh, get their armor safe. Same for Brother Venacio, he gets hit, uh, but he manages armor safe too. We start off turn 4 with the activation of the Vanguard squad, which are here, very near to these um, orcs. Unit in the back uh, is um, standing still. But they can uh, throw their melt uh, grenades onto the killer can, which is in within reach. The other vanguard sword is going to do the same. They are also going to uh, throw a melt bomb at the killer can, and the sergeant is going to assault the unit of shooters right in front of him. So first shooting. The first melter bomb already hits and destroys the killer can. The second melter gun is just wasted, and now it's the turn of uh, the sergeant to uh, do the assault. It's actually the shooters that win the close combat, so Sergeant uh, Adelius is moved back to the square he started in, and he has to take an armor save. Which he misses, so he goes to his uh, wounded side. Now, uh, for special characters, they can move around uh, when, while they're wounded, and they um, this way they can move to the medic and uh, have themselves healed up if possible. But I'm going to put a wounded marker on him because the um, uh, brother Malsin has only one go at healing up healing him up on the battlefield. Next up are the Thief Breakers uh, unit of uh, Orcs. These two units are going to assault the sergeant because they uh, taste blood and the uh, bottom unit is going to shoot standing still at plasma gun unit. So first we shoot, they hit but once again the space marines are saved by their armor. The first orc unit wins the combat against the sergeant so he's gonna do an armor save. Luck luckily for him he passes this armor save because if he's eliminated the vanguard veteran squad will not come back in the future scenarios. The second orc unit rolls not high enough, and so they have get wounded. Next are the uh, unit number four of the orcs. Since the killer can has been removed from the um, order order thingy, um, it's now at the Gretchen mob and the battle wagon to to come up next. Since lines of sight is still blocked by the slugger unit, the battle wagon is just standing still and doing an indirect fire to the uh, space marine squad behind it. And the Gretchen mob and Runtert are swarming the tactical unit. So this is uh, what I meant. The Gretchen have a fighting chance when they swarm a unit. So let's do the first uh, shooting. The shot deviates, but I can choose which way it does because I have rolled two dice. And I choose direction number two, and now it's the attack bike that's being hit. Luckily for the attack bike, um, the orc roll three plus three from the uh, B template, and seven with the attack bike, so they are unharmed. First Gretchen mob attacks and loses, so gets wounded. Second Gretchen mob attacks and loses the combat, gets wounded. The 
third Gretchen mob does not manage to win the combat even with the plus two modifier so now it's up to the Runtut to um, do some damage to the Orcs unfortunately for the Orcs uh, the Space Marines still roll high even though the Runtut is better at close combat and um, has a plus three modifier He's not unable to to hit the tactical space marines and gets wounded too. So every uh, last one of the uh, units of the um, Gretchen and Rentert are wounded. Next up is um, Sergeant Vorlenis and his squad. Gonna stand still and shoot. The Heavy Bolter is now free to do an action. He's going to shoot at this unit. Uh, Sergeant Vorlanis is going to flame the unit in front of him. And the Plasma unit is going to shoot at this uh, Orc unit. The Heavy Bolter managed to wipe out the shooter unit in front of them. Vorolenis uh, manages to burn the shooters in front of him to a crisp and the plasma squad um, does double damage to the shooters so annihilates the, the whole squad next are the orc reinforcements they, but they still uh, roll not high enough to have the blitz of bomber come into the, into the game Next up is Brother Venacio. He's going to move and shoot the orc unit in front of the last cannon unit. So the last cannon, which are not yet activated this turn, will have a free line of sight to battle wagon. The rhino is going to stand still and shoot at the Gretchen mob. And the uh, attack bike is going to advance and uh, take a, a shot at the battle wagon if possible. Rhino kills off the first Gretchen mob. Brother Venacio kills off the Slugger mob. The attack bike takes cover be behind the wreckage of the death jet. So the um, battle wagon cannot uh, shoot him as easily and takes a shot at the Rented, but does not roll high enough to, to wound him. Next up is Brother Malsian and his uh, units. Brother Malsian is going to stand still and try to kill the Rented. A uh, tactical squad is going to shoot the Rented Gretchen mob in front of him, and the last gun cannon is going to shoot the battle wagon. Brother Marcion rolls high, but not high enough since the Runtut is in uh, plus two cover. The tactical squad completely obliterates the Gretchen in front of him. The last cannon shoots high enough to make a hit on the battle wagon, so now we're gonna see what happens to it. So the battle wagon is in red category, so the third line I roll a 5, so that is a suppressed marker on the battle wagon. At the end of turn 4, um, the orcs are all but wiped out. There's still the battle wagon, but he's uh, suppressed. The Gretchen mob is uh, going to run away uh, soon. And we still have the Blitzer bomber, who has not uh, done his action yet. So, good news for the Space Marines, they will be able to advance to the wall and take up positions. So, I'll see you for the next um, video with um, turn 5 and 6 of this scenario. Thanks for watching!